with God, there is no fear. With God, there is no detriment. Everything and everyone are whole and all is well. Hello, my sweet. How are you today? Welcome to the Divine Living Podcast. And I have a message today coming straight from the heart. I am seeing, hearing, reading from so many different women experiencing anxiety from that ping, waking up at 2.30 in the morning with the pit in your stomach anxiety to anxiety during the day for all kinds of reasons. Um, anxiety about keeping up and comparison, anxiety about money coming in, anxiety about what am I doing with my life, anxiety about is it gonna work out? And I've been seeing women in really challenging situations lately. Like, uh, you know, one of my clients has to move, the landlord decided to sell the house and her, where she, what she was planning on doing is, is still up in the air. So like, there seems to be this gap in between. Someone else had some money embezzled and like, you know, was planning on using that money for different purposes and is, is now in a scramble got, you know, other women finding their way after experiencing the loss of a loved one and just like, like real stuff. And I wanted to come on and remind us that everything, everything, everything is meant for our good. And I know sometimes we got to dig a little deeper to understand it, to find it, to see what meaning God could possibly have in store for landing us in this circumstance. I know other women that are just like tired of the grind and the masculine way of working and life isn't bad or there's not even a particular challenge, but it's like, there's gotta be something better than this. And there is, and there is. And when we take our focus and our attention and our energy off the thing that we don't want more of and really start to develop mastery about being feminine. And one of the skill sets of femininity is being able to see things not as they are, but as they could be. And so when you start to see the situation in your life, healed, working out, abundant, victorious, miraculous, and you start to see it all being not just okay, but way more than okay. When you start to give this situation in your life, love, power, triumph, doesn't that feel better already in your soul? And the reason why anxiety comes up is because it's gotten a little past us listening to ourselves and our intuition. You know, it's kind of a little bit like a sunburn. And you're sitting out there in the sun and you're like, all right, my skin's getting kind of warm. And you're like, I think this is getting like, I should probably move into the shade. When we say, oh, another 15 minutes will be fine, or oh, it'll be okay. And then we go in and we, feel the burn. That's just what anxiety is. It's just gone past when we either didn't listen to our intuition or were focused on other things where we just didn't hear it at all. And 
this is correctable. We can start to create, not start, where we can continue to create deeper strength, greater habits about seeking God's direction in our life ahead of time. Not using prayer just as the last resort. Really training our neurological pathways to focus on truth. Because with God, there's no lack. With God, there is no fear. With God, there is no detriment. Everything and everyone are whole and all is well. And I know even in, in my own life, I can freak out and I can experience anxiety or let it dip into depression, or I can just get great at the spiritual connection. Because none of it is meant to harm us. None of it is meant to punish us. None of it, it is meant to have us be left behind or miss out. You get to begin again today. I get to begin again today. We get to start fresh, miracle-minded, sitting up, leaning forward, saying, all right, universe, got my attention. All right, God, I'm listening. Like I'm really seeking you. I don't know how this is gonna work out. I don't have the answer. I don't know which way I should go. I don't know what I should do. I don't know how my heart is gonna ever stop aching. I don't know how this situation is ever gonna become whole. I don't know where the clients are gonna come from or where the money's gonna come in or how this is gonna end up, but you do. And I choose to focus on and to decree and to declare truth over my life. I choose to use my power and my energy and my words to join with you and to speak power and truth over my life. And I want you to do the same. Because when we are crumbling in fear, and using our energy to destroy our lives and our vision and our peace and our sanity and our mental health, we can do that. Or we can muster up even mustard seed size faith and say, I'm not going down. I decree and declare power, love, abundance, joy, happiness, peace in this situation in my life. I join with you, God, right here, right now in this moment. And I decree and declare that a miracle take place. I know that there is a power in me, but not of me that is surrounding this situation and has already made it whole. So I stand here in faith, believing that the abundance, the prosperity, the wholeness, the healing be brought through to fruition and completion. I believe that he who began a good work in me will be faithful to complete it. This is not the end of the story. This is mid-story. And like all great stories, there's a lot of unknown mid-story. And that's just what you're in. But it feels so much better and so much more aligned to be in the middle of the story with the creator of the universe knowing that you and God are a majority, 
that all is well, that seek first the kingdom of heaven and all of these things will be added unto you. So God, we are seeking and we are asking and we're looking for direction and we are declaring that confirmation will come in so clearly so clearly that we will know that we will know that we will know that this is you that this is your voice this is your hand this is your guidance this is where you would have us go this is who you would have us be this is the stand you would have us take we're no longer looking to all of the brokenness and what doesn't work and all the fear-based stuff we're no longer looking for us alone to figure this out. In this moment, we align and join with you. Because we know that with you, there is no lack. With you, there is only wholeness. So we thank you. And we stand. The Bible says when you've done all you can do to stand, then stand. That feels good. So that anxiety that you might've been feeling recently, it's avoidable. When we spend time listening to podcasts like this that have us focused on truth, listening to audio books that just get it into the cells of our bodies, reading books that just just flush our soul with wholeness. Ah, journaling so that we've got time and space for our voice, for the voice of God to be clear. Seek and you will find. Ask and it will be given. Knock and the door will open. So that's what I want you to <clears throat> believe for yourself, know for yourself today. And know that I'm right here with you. Glenn and I are on a plane to London for a couple of days and I've got my journal in hand and I'm seeking and asking and knocking right alongside with you. Because our dreams, these dreams inside of our hearts, they're meant for us. They're important, not just to us, but for the world and all of the people that we impact and all the people that will be positively benefiting as a result of us showing up on behalf of our dreams and showing up and being living live examples of miracles coming to fruition. And you know that feeling like after like a really good workout, like how you really showed up for yourself and you're like, yes, yes. Like that, like I did it. Like I didn't go too hard and I didn't under show up either. Like I, like I went there. I think we're all in a spiritual workout, or at least we have the opportunity to do a spiritual workout today. And if you're listening to this, my guess is you're going to say yes. You're going to say yes to digging in. You're going to say yes to leaning in, listening, much more deeply because the stuff that we can do and figure out on our own, nah, not that interesting. And what do we need God for if we can do it? I think that women like us are really, really leaning in to the unknown. We, we know that we are at the forefront post pandemic to not do same old, same old in any way, shape or form, but to let our lives be used in ways that are legendary, that really are miraculous. And that's going to require us 
to align with spirit more than ever before. So do that and do that today. And you'll see there's no anxiety, not when you're focused on God. There's no worrying. There's no fear. There's, all right, God, show me what you got because I'm here for it. So let's pray. <clears throat> Dear God, thank you that today we remember that we have a choice, a choice on what we focus on, a choice on what we believe, a choice on where we place our attention. And in this moment, we are grateful to place our focus on you because we know that with you, all things are possible. And only greatness is what you do and what you have created us for. So we open ourselves up to receiving the greatness that you have in store for each and every one of us. Let us get great at receiving love, abundance, opportunity, visibility, prosperity. Let our light shine in a really big way. That's what we're here for. And we pray this believing. Amen. All right, my gorgeous. If you're looking for some amazing transformation in your life, I want you to come to my Transformation in Tuscany retreat. I've got an option in June and an option in September. And I know that women are looking for their own personal renaissance and where better than to come to the epicenter of the renaissance here in Florence, Italy for three days. Wait till you see the hotel that we're going to be in. It's like the there's a rooftop that overlooks the Arno and all the gorgeous terracotta rooftops of Florence. And I just know that you dedicating three days to what else is meant for you, because I know you know there's something more, and what else is possible, and what kind of transformation could your life really look like? so beautiful. I got a, a voice note from a client today and <clears throat> she was just talking about all the different areas of her life that have totally transformed because she started really applying spiritual principles to her body, to her eating issues, to her business dynamics, to her parenting and she just, she feels so much more alive and grounded and feminine and whole. And she doesn't have that rush or that push or that anxiety. Like she has this certainty that her business is going in a certain direction. Her weight is going in a certain direction. Her love of life is going in a certain direction. It's just every area of her life is experiencing this transformation. And that's what I want for you. I want to discover with you what else you're meant for. And that's what these retreats are for. Uh, I've been hosting retreats for almost 20 years now. And I see what happens when you get out from behind the computer, when you get out of your regular setting and you come into a place of the unknown, you're going to be really well taken care of. You're going to meet other women just like you. I'm going to give you a big hug. And together we're gonna to explore and God's gonna reveal what it is. Usually I have very little to do with it. I, I create the space, I facilitate the setting that you will see the Holy Spirit show up in your life in the most miraculous ways. And I can say this with confidence because I have seen it happen time and time and time again. So the opportunity is there, seize it. Uh, the link is in the show notes, or you can go to divineliving.com forward slash Tuscany. Space is very limited. I keep my retreats very intimate. So uh, reserve your spot today. 
and I'll see you in Florence.